Okay, guys, welcome back. This is where we left. And now I've created my style, so it's pretty cool on my TOC table of contents. So I don't need this little text box there, really. I'm going to use my grid to now establish the width that I want my table of contents to be. What I want to do now is tell InDesign, hey, could you please create a table of contents for me based on all the information we've created? So all you need to do is you go to layout, go to the drop down menu table of contents and that's going to give us a little window here. It says you can actually, something really interesting of InDesign is obviously you can create as you're aware styles for a lot of things including a table of contents. This can be very handy when you do table of contents that are very similar for your clients. If you've got a very particular branding or if you're using, like I use it a lot for example for Blue Moon Designs presentation it's always the same typeface. Most likely, we use the same typefaces, uh, not the uh, same sizes. And if I need to change something, I just change the paragraph style. Uh, but it's 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 really easy to you know save you a lot of time. Title basically what it is it's what I have here. So you can actually type table of content. But what I don't like about this title, or what I prefer to do, is I always like my title to be on its own text frame. If you have title here, it's all going to be embedded inside the same text frame. I'm going to leave that totally up to you. Styles in table of content. This is really important. In table number, in video number one or part one of this video, we talked about the things we want in design to include in your actual uh, table of contents, and you can see that it's listing all the paragraph styles. So rule number one: paragraph styles. What sort of things do we want to have on my table of contents? Ah, <laughs> correct. I want to have my main chapter. You want to add it, and I want to have my subheadings. Now, all we're doing here is include these paragraph styles into my table of contents, and you can see really nicely how main chapter it's on level one, and InDesign automatically is indenting subhead subheads. These little bracket headings means the folder that these guys are have been saved. And you can see that headings is there in my paragraph styles. And that's what that means. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but when you, you have when you click on this, something I want you to do is most of you maybe have the option of click more options. If you don't have it, it's because it's already on. So just click on the more options tab. Uh, button and what we're going to do is I want to show you something really cool. So when you click on main chapter or swap it to subheads, you can see how this swap. Can you see that? So you got basic paragraphs. You can, but well, basically I don't want basic paragraph. So you can see the levels of entry. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to check my main chapter and say entry style. Now, the entry style is pretty much saying, okay, I have this information, how do you want that information to be displayed? All I'm going to do is, we created the table of contents main heading. I'm going to click there, and then on, you see that it's between entry and number, a tab. So when we created the styles, we had a little bit of a leader going on. And my subheads, what I'm going to do is, click the drop down menu, and table of contents subheadings. Now, um, make sure we create PDF bookmarks. This is going to be very handy when you export PDFs or when you create interactive documents and stuff like that. It's just going to save you a lot of time. And what I'm going to do is, you can actually, just on a side note, create a style just for the page number, which is pretty cool. But I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to click OK. And I'm going to come here, and you can see that it loads what's called a table of contents, just when, like when you're loading some kind of text in InDesign. I'm going to create our my key rounded and you can see something really cool happens. I'm just gonna do that there. That's it. Now what I have now is my table of contents. Which is pretty cool, huh? You've got the tabs, it's been saved, it added all those numbers or the page numbers automatically. Now all I need to do is I need to come because it brings those little surf returns and stuff like that. So with a little bit of patience, all I need to do here is come and fix these ones up. So I don't want them. So you can see this gets a little bit. So 
So it's just a little bit of cleaning. Come and clean, 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 clean. Um, now it's up to us if we want. We want to push these up a little, and then we incorporate these two. Let's have a look at that. Now, something I wanted to show you. Obviously, what's happening there is not really nice. It's actually not pretty cool. But if I wanted to change the style of this, all you need to do is go to your paragraph styles, right click, edit it, and probably I think the problem I have is my spaces. I'm just going to save it to maybe two meals. Now that's looking much better, and I'm going to push my text box like that so I have business cards. Now something I did on purpose. Uh, if I go to, you can see down in collateral, there's uh, one part that it's called packaging and it's not in there. Now the reason being is, and this is something you really need to be very careful, I'm going to go to these pages and package, it doesn't have my original style apply. In other words, remember how when we created in the first time, all my subheads need to look like that? This didn't look like that, so it doesn't get included. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to apply that to my document, just to, I mean, we're all humans and it's so easy to make mistakes. What you can do now is, like, you would, what would you do? Like, you don't, you don't want to really come here and type it because that will defeat all the purpose. What you can do is, select the text, you can go layout and update table of contents. And it says, table of contents has been successfully updated. And you can see now, package has been added. Even more, even cooler than this, what you can do, or well, where I think it's really, really nice, I can actually create, let's say, my client said wanted another one. And they want cool words like that, let's say that, right? So obviously, if you had to come here to your page number two and come and change this by hand, it'll be impossible. You, you know. So what I'll do is, you actually have to come here and again lay out after table of contents. Click OK, and that's going to bring your cool words of the brand. Sad thing, we have to come here, and it's really important to have your hidden characters on. So command and option I, so we can actually make sure that when we do all these, we just at the end do a little bit of cleaning, and that's it. That's how you create a table of content. In the next video, I'm just going to be showing you how to export these as a nice Swift file that you can actually make look. Your presentations look quite sexy. So just keep an eye on it, and I'll see you soon. Bye.